Okay, I was reading on this website here, heartdisease.about.com slash cs slash arrhythmia slash a slash pvc underscore two dot htm about PACs and treating PVCs. Or I'm sorry, PVCs. Um, how should PVCs be treated? Basically, this article says, um, I'll just re read it word for word. The answer to this question would be easy if we had anti-arrhythmic drugs that are A, successfully, uh, that A, successfully suppress PVCs and B, were safe. Unfortunately, we don't have antiarrhythmic drugs that fill these criteria. Most antiarrhythmic drugs are poorly or relatively poor at treating PVCs. That they often reduce their frequency, and all antiarrhythmic drugs can make dangerous arrhythmias more likely. That makes absolutely no sense. Um, in addition, each of these drugs has its own unique toxi uh, toxicity profile. Some are anonymous than others. That remind these drugs as a group among most toxic use in medicine. Now, this was written in 2007, but I mean, that just doesn't seem to make any sense about treating PVCs and then they use anti-arrhythmic drugs. I mean, are, they, are there any out, new, new drugs like that out? I mean, it's been a few years now, but um, I mean, if these are supposed to, I mean, it does say it's relatively poor at treating them, but then it says that they reduce their frequency but make dangerous arrhythmias more likely. I mean, that, I don't know. It's just frustrating because my doctor hasn't come up with any um, medications that help PACs or PVCs except for the atenolol beta blocker, which lowers my heart rate and says that they could make the PACs, PVCs less likely, but it's not known for that. So, I don't know, it's just frustrating. I was just wondering if anybody out there is on ant any antiarrhythmic drugs and um, how they help, and if it has made any other arrhythmias more likely, because if they have, I don't see why anyone would be on them, but I don't know, I was just wondering. Let me know.